Okay, this is a quick demo of one block authentication. Let me get my phone in focus here. And I'll launch the one block app. The first time you log in, it's going to ask you to create a new ID, so we'll do that. And I'll just call it test. And we create an unlock code for it so it's encrypted on our phone. So it goes ahead and generates that ID. Then it creates a 12 word phrase that you write down on a piece of paper and store away. And this is used later on if you want to um, restore this ID if your, if your phone gets lost or stolen. Or if you want to revoke an ID, you'll need this as well. So we'll just go ahead and go to the next part. So now we have a new ID called test and we can log in with it. So I'll just go over to the website here and I have a demo where you can log in. and I will just scan that QR code. That is the challenge. Okay, if you look on the app, it's asking us to confirm that this is the site we want to log into. We say yes, we do. And it logs in, says success, and you'll see that the website says you're now logged in and you've been logged in one time. And uh, that's pretty much how it works from the user's point of view. Um, on the app we can do quite a few things. We can do um, export the ID so it puts it into a QR code then on another app you can scan that in and that'll, that'll import it to the other device. Um, importing a code you can either scan in the QR code or use the phrase to import your ID or do a manual import where you cut and paste the JSON. Um, you can edit an ID and then you can put an ID in revoke mode and that's if your ID gets lost and somebody figured out the uh, pin code on it. Um, you can set it in revoke mode and then the next time you log in with it it'll switch the ID out to a new one. So and then um, as far as the Chrome extension it pretty much works the same way. I've got it on the browser here. If I just log into an ID I have. Now we can log in with it. Um, it's not com complete yet. It doesn't just tie into the browser. You have to cut and paste the one block challenge. So if I copy that link address and then go into the extension and I paste it in then I can go ahead and log in with it. Otherwise it pretty much carries all the same features as the mobile device except for the QR code scanning. That's it. Thanks.